Hello everyone, we are going to learn about Lagrange's theorem. The order of each subgroup of a finite group is a divisor of the order of the group. Proof Let G be a group of finite order N. Let H be a subgroup of G and let order of H be M. We have to show that M divides N. Suppose H1, H2, Hm are the M distinct members of H. Let A belongs to G. Then H A is a right coset of H in G. Then right coset H A is equal to H 1 A, H 2 A up to H M A. H A has M distinct members. Since H i a is equal to H j r since H i a is equal to H j a gives H i is equal to H j by right cancellation of right cancellation of a. Therefore, each right coset of H in G has M distinct members any two distinct right cosets of H in G are disjoint that is they have no element in common. Since G is a finite group the number of distinct right cosets of H in G will be finite. Say equal to k. The union of these k distinct right cosets of H in G is equal to G. So, if H A 1, H A 2 up to H A k are the k distinct right cosets of H in G, then G is the union of the right cosets H A H A 1 in an H A 2 union up to H A k. Here G is the union of all the right cosets of H in G. Implies that the number of elements in G is equal to the number of elements in H 1, H A 1 plus the number of elements in H A 2 plus up to the number of elements in H A k as H A i and H A j are disjoint that is H A i intersection H A j is equal to empty phi implies that number of elements in G that is order of G is equal to k times m since every right cosets of H in G have m elements and there are k distinct right cosets. So, order of G is equal to k times m implies that n is equal to k m. Since n is multiple of m, so m is a divisor of n implies that order of h divides order of g that is subgroup of g divides the order of the group g. This proves the theorem. Note 
if h is a subgroup of a finite group g then the index of h in g is equal to the number of distinct right or left cosets of h in g which is equal to order of g by order of h the converse of lagrange's theorem is not true that is if m is a divisor of n then it is not necessary that g must have a subgroup of order m for example the alternating group a4 of degree 4 is of order 12 it can be seen that there is no subgroup of a4 of order 6 though 6 is a divisor of 12 corollary if g is a finite group of order n and a belongs to g then a to the power n is equal to e proof in a finite group the order of each element is finite let order of a is equal to m the subset h of g consisting of all integral powers of a is a subgroup of g and the order of h is m by lagrange's theorem m is a divisor of n let n is equal to k times m now a to the power n is equal to a to the power k m is equal to a raised to the power m whole raised to the power k is equal to e to the power k as order of a is m so a to the power m is equal to identity element of the group and this gives e to the power k is equal to e therefore e to the power n is equal to e so if g is a finite group of order n and a belongs to g then e to the power n is equal to a